Hey everyone! Today I'll be talking about Different For Girls again. I first talked about it on my channel in October and I loved this show. I was able to watch the show right before Klaxicon London and at Klaxicon London I was able to talk to Fizz Milton, who is the producer of the show, and Jackie Lawrence. She wrote it and she's also the executive producer. I can recommend this show. I learned a lot about it from this conversation. If you want to watch it, you can go to lesbianboxoffice.com. I personally am hoping for a second season, so if you could just all go to that show and watch it, you know, that might help. Okay, enjoy. I'm Jackie Lawrence. I'm the writer and the exec producer of Different For Girls. I'm Fizz Milton and I'm the producer of Different For Girls. I haven't seen your other half. Is there one? She's a woman up. Between being supportive of your ex and being busy with a work project, what does that mean us? I work so that we can have all of this. You made me come running because you just had a tiff with your fucking plastic lesbian? And thanks so much for talking to me because I only recently discovered Different For Girls and I really wanted to talk about the production side because it started off with a book, right? That's right, yeah. Well, originally, a very, very long time ago, it was a development, a drama development for Channel 4. And then um, it moved into a book and then it changed into um, the series that you've, uh, that you've just seen. But consciously or subconsciously, I like to think, uh, when I was writing the book, I always had... I'd an idea that it would become um, um, a screen project. So the book itself, the, the chapters are very short, and there yeah. are the cliffhangers. And to use your words, it's very, very soap-like. I think it was after Ellen that, that had the article headline, like, your new favorite uh, soap opera. I read it afterwards, it was like, look, I guess it makes sense, but I don't fully 100% agree, but... <laughs> Yeah, I like your analysis, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and did you read the Amazon reviews yourself uh, on the book? I did, I did. It, it was really interesting because somebody, I think, on Amazon.com said, you know, this is the new L word. Yeah. Like, oh, well, that's wonderful. So yes, Pressure I did. Also, I, did yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did read. Um, I mean, some of the early reviews, I have to say, were family and friends. So that was kind of <laughs> well, nice. Well, you need to, you need to get um, me to But go, yeah. no, they, they, I think overall, they, they were pretty favourable. So yeah. Because I, I loved seeing it like, oh, I want to see this on screen and I want to see this turn into exactly. a web series. Like, it was like, oh, that's so cool. And I, like, for me, I was wondering, because I'm usually quite up to date with new productions and I didn't know about this. So, so can you explain to me, is it a new production or has it already been around for a little while? I mean, we started off ser in serious production two years ago mm -hmm. and we were going to film 12 episodes mm -hmm. and it was incredibly ambitious and we were yeah. hugely reliant on the Indiegogo campaign, which Jack had kicked off. And that was a very different learning curve for me. My background is in kind of straight mainstream TV and film. And now you needed and other it people's was a help. Com completely <laughs> different um, approach. So you feel an even greater sense of responsibility, I think, because you know people have put their own money into it. You know, it, it takes you back to that ruthless. You know, we want to make this as good as possible, and helps you kind of make people open doors to help you. We had various pledges from people, um, and just before Brexit, one of those didn't quite work out, and. We had to retrench and then start again. And I think it's a, a real message about how perseverance pays off because we were going to stop and Jackie went, no, but how yeah. much money have we got, really got and what can we do? And so let's rebudget, let's reschedule, let's look at the story, let's go to the essence of the story. So working with the director, looking at, you know, could we do six episodes? And I said, well, no, we could do five episodes. And I said, can we not do six episodes? So can we make it work? Can we make it work? Can we make it work? So really working together is a very, yeah. very tight knit, knit team to, to bring it to fruition. So it's really a, a big journey. What does this, like an event like Klexicon London mean for you personally and for your projects? Do you think you can get something out of this for Different For Girls? Absolutely, and I was very, very interested when you said, you know, I've not heard about this, because mm. actually, yeah. you know, the one thing that we didn't have the budget for was yeah. the distribution and marketing that, you know, a TV series or a, a yeah. film would have. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's really interesting, the, 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 you know, listening to Fizz talking about just, you know, how hard it was. I mean, a lot of the things, you know, we filmed in each other's houses, a lot of the characters are wearing our own, you know, really? our wives' clothes. Oh, that's so awesome. Every I don't know if you noticed <laughs> yeah. the reoccurring mi white mini, which was, oh. which is, uh, I'm going to look for that now. Do look, that white mini is in, a, you know, in every scene. So it now. was. Um, so really, in a way, um, we haven't even started 
the marketing. Oh, so this, that's you know, right. we, it has yeah. been through word of mouth. You know, yeah. there's been a few. We we had a, quite a lot of um, press coverage when we first dropped because one of our I saw that. main yeah. characters is very well, very well known. I was, I was um, talking you know, about that. Uh, yeah. So you know, but really, you know, there are markets that we have to. Um, I was going to say penetrate. That's probably not the right <laughs> word to use. But there are markets that we really need to get into, yeah. and you know, the European market is certainly you know it's, it's it's taken off really well in the UK and the US, but everywhere else. We really need to 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 make our presence and Clexicon London, of course, is Clexicon Europe. Yeah, yeah and so you know your your YouTube channel yeah. is an amazing um, um, market to, uh, uh, tool thanks. for us. You know, promotional tool for us. I want to go talk about Rachel because that was also the first thing I saw. Like Rachel Shelley. Awesome. Was she one of the first actresses that you had on the project, or she, she was? She was. She was. Um, she. I sent her the book very, very early on in the in the process, and um, you know she was a dream, you know dream, uh, a cast and dream. But actually, mm. she really did. Um, I think you know it, her character is so very, very different yes. to um, uh, the Peabody character. <laughs> Um, and you know she's she's probably the one that you know bless she's you know she wears the tracksuit mm -hmm. you know she's at, on the school run yeah. she's probably the nearest character to, to to mine although I have to say you know Nicola is not my wife I have to say that for okay the yes um, so you no know, a cast and dream yeah, really a cast and dream and absolutely. she brought you know obviously the legacy of the of the L word with her yeah is that do you still get that a lot or this is the new L word or was it just when the book came out right? I think you know we we. If you think about it, really, there is a long story, uh, which includes the, the L word, which is why the, the original development didn't go ahead, because the L word hit our screens. And, of course, you know, we could only cope with one lesbian yeah. drama all the time, apparently. Um, and, then, and, then the, and then, you know, this came out, Different Poor Girls came out, and then we get the reboot. Yeah. So oh, we, yeah. we are taking oh, credit. No. We are taking credit <laughs> that we have ignite reignited the L word. So you know anyone out there? Yeah. All down to thanks. Us. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> there can never be enough lesbian representation. They, they can't. So you know, yeah. if um, uh, we we have no I you know we have no problem with being seen as the new L word. I was wondering with the casting. Did you already know uh, some of the actors that are on the series, or was that like? Did you find some completely new people? Definitely find definitely new found, people. Yeah. Definitely find new people. I mean, casting is 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 almost the most well. Well, it's the most important thing. Yeah, it is the most important thing. You know, even from yeah. reading a script, you immediately have ideas in your head. And one of the most incredibly difficult things, from the production point of view, is actually people say you can never make everyone happy. But when you're producing, what you're trying to do is to make the very best show and make everyone happy from the writer's point of view, from the director's point of view, because from the written page, everyone tries to make it work and yeah. you're trying to get everyone's vision and make it into a cohesive whole. So casting is the most so important, important thing. thing. The most um, important thing. And, and, they, and they came sorry. from very, very, you know, Victoria who plays Fran, she hunted us down. She came to us and that was, you know, she was so proactive. Really? Um, Caroline who plays Nicola, I had seen in... Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, her story. <laughs> yes. Uh, where story, she played, yeah. um, she played a uh, a turf basically in her story. You know, a very, very um, <laughs> <laughs> brave um, role to play. Not well, brave as in, you know, she yeah. she she got an awful lot of uh, you know re negative <laughs> response because yeah. it was such an awful the character. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Character, yeah, exactly. And I saw her and thought, she's Nicola, she's absolutely Nicola. But you know, we probably knew maybe out. Uh, Two of the of the main six. Wow. So yes, we've uh, and Victoria, of course, has gone from strength to strength. Mm. You know, she was she played a lesbian in Marcella. Yeah. Um. So you know, we're we're thrilled with that casting. From the top of your mind, what do you think is the one thing that content creators in the entertainment industry can do to improve queer representation in media? Commission more, make more, produce more, more. It's and quantity. and yeah. from I've got a story that I'm going to tell that um, in the DFG panel. Um, which is sh shocking, absolutely shocking, yeah. which, ha which happened to me. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah. basically, commission lesbian or bi identified writers, producers, and directors to make lesbian and bi content. 
It's a, that's the one answer that I get. So it must be yeah. a, a problem uh, <laughs> behind the scenes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much again, and uh, I hope you, you enjoy your panel here. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot.